Hey folks, it's physics again. We are looking at equilibrium, the topic of forces and moments and torque and equilibrium. So let's start with some definitions. What is a moment? You think of a moment as being a moment in time, but you can forget that now. Time is gone, we don't care about time, we're talking about turning forces. We're talking about the effect of a force, the effect that a force has in turning something. We're talking about spanners and wrenches, we're talking about engines, we're talking about torque, that, that thing that you use to rip stumps out of the ground using a four-wheel drive, we're talking about that kind of thing. So, first of all, what is a moment? A moment is the turning effect that a force has. So if I apply a force to a, a nut, I'm trying to undo a nut, I try it with my fingers and I can't get it undone so I get a, a smaller spanner and I put it around the nut and I, and I turn it and I might be able to turn it or I might not. If it's too hard to turn then I, I ditch the little puny spanner and I get a big grunter of a spanner and I put that around the nut and then I might be able to turn it. What's the difference? The main difference is this one has a, a longer arm. I apply the same force with my arm, but it has a greater turning effect. Why does it have a greater turning effect? What's changed? What's changed is the, the distance of the applied force from the pivot. Here's the pivot point. The nut is the pivot. And my arm is now further out from the pivot. If I still couldn't turn the nut, I'd get a pipe and I'd stick it on the end of here so that the so that the nut was here and my arm was right out there pushing on a pipe and then I'd probably be able to undo the nut. So the distance from the pivot actually makes all the difference. So the moment is actually the turning effect of a force. A couple is when you've got a pivot and you've got two forces in opposite directions equal distance from that pivot. So, if you're riding a bike, probably not a great example actually, if you're turning a steering wheel on a car and you have your two hands like this, one's pushing up, the other's pushing down, you're turning your steering wheel that way. That's a couple. Equal forces in opposite directions, equal distances from a pivot. Okay, we talked about torque before. Torque, technically, Technically, it's the turning effect of a couple, but the word torque can be used in the same way that you use the word moment, the turning effect of a force. Now, as an equation, as a formula, torque, which is a vector, equals force times distance. And that little sign here means perpendicular. Let me pick up my spanner again. If this is a, a nut that you're trying to undo, here's the distance uh, that, that the spanner... It's positioned from that nut. The force that I apply needs to be perpendicular to that distance. If I apply a force that's in that direction, the turning effect of that force is going to be zero. It would also be a ridiculous thing to do. What's the point of forcing that way? It's going to have no effect whatsoever, except to make you tired. But if you're trying to turn the nut, you apply a force perpendicular, 90 degrees, from the, the distance that the spanner covers from that from that nut. So you apply the force 90 degrees. So the bigger the force, the bigger the turning effect, but also the bigger the distance, the bigger the turning effect. So if you want to have a really huge, enormous torque or moment, you need to have a big distance and you need to have a big force and then you can turn just about anything. If you have a small force over a small distance from the pivot, very little torque. Not much talk at all. Now the units, when you think about it, force is measured in newtons, distance is measured in meters. So the units for torque or for a moment or for a couple, the units are newton meters. Now you might think to yourself, that's the same unit we use for energy and work because for work done is force times distance. Yes it is, but work done is equal to force times the distance moved in the direction of the force. This is force multiplied by the distance from a pivot 
and the force and the distance are perpendicular to each other. Very different. So work done in energy is very different from torque in moments, even though the units are the same. Right, final point. We've had moment, couple, torque. Final point is equilibrium. What is equilibrium? Well, an object is in equilibrium if it's not moving or if it's moving at a constant speed in a straight line. All the forces are equal and opposite. All the forces add to zero. The sum of the forces, this sign here means sum of, the sum of the vector sum of the forces is zero. But what you also need to know is the vector sum of the torques or moments equals zero. So the best way to explain that is with an example. He knocks his lamp over. Change colour. Here we have a stick. Now this stick has got a 6 newton force in that direction, an 8 newton force in that direction, that's left by the way, and we've got a 14 newton force in this direction. So this is right. So 6 and 8 adds to 14. So you've got a total force of four, 14 newtons left and you've got a total force of 14 newtons to the right. So it's not difficult to see that the forces add up to 0. 8 plus 6 equals 14. So or 8 plus 6 plus negative 14 equals 0. Forces add to 0. But what do we do to figure out whether the moments add up to zero or not? Well, we look at this, and if we know that it's equal in equilibrium, then we know that the turning forces must be equal and opposite, because it's not going anywhere. See, it hasn't moved. It's just sitting there. So it's in equilibrium. If we know it's in equilibrium, our job is to try and find out what distance x must be. How far is this 14 Newton force from this point here? Okay. What you do, first thing, is you decide on a pivot point, and our pivot point will be here, at that point. Now, it could be there, it could be here, you can't really choose this point here because you need to find, well you could actually, you could choose this point here. You could choose any of these three points, but you're going to choose this one because I want to. Okay, so let's look at the anti-clockwise torques. So. Some of the torques or moments anti-clockwise equals around this point, this force is providing a clockwise torque, this force is providing an anti-clockwise torque. So we say it's force times distance, which is equal to 8 times 1.4 meters. And on a Tuesday, 8 times 1.4 equals 11.2 Newton meters. Hurrah! Well, we haven't done it yet. We've just found the anti-clockwise torques. Now, what you know is if this is in equilibrium, then the clockwise torques must also equal 1.2 Newton meters because it's not going anywhere. So, some of torques clockwise also equals 11.2. Now, what gives us this clockwise torque? It's 14 times x equals 11.2. So this force times that distance x must equal 11.2. Therefore, it's pretty simple to find x. x simply just equals 11.2 divided by 14, which, again, on a Tuesday, is it Tuesday today? It's Tuesday. On a Tuesday, that equals 0 0.8 meters. And that is how you use the, the principle of equilibrium to solve problems. Your life has just changed. It will never be the same again. You now know how to solve torque and equilibrium problems. Yes!